The next lure we're covered is a, uh, is a small crankbait. Uh, we talked about those, those clay banks where you know, those, the crayfish burrow in and they hibernate. Um, it's, it's funny, you'll catch fish all winter and you'll see the, you'll look down in the gullet of the fish and you'll see those antennas sticking up. Um, and I think that leads a lot of people to think that the crayfish are active and up year round. Uh, I don't know that they necessarily are. I don't think all of them burrow all that deep. And I think what the, and I'm not sure, I'm not, haven't gone diving in winter to find out, but uh, I think that the smallmouth will get their nose under rock and flip it. You know, you do see them with scars on their nose in, you know, in early spring and winter. And I think that's what's going on. But anyways, this, um, and I like a small, small crankbait like this in the darker colors. And that really looks like when you go up to those clay banks, and we're going to do that further down here in this tributary. Um, you know, you, you slap that crankbait up on that, that mud clay bank and pull it in. And it's like the, you know, the crayfish have just popped out and they're scurrying and you know they're out for the first time of the season and they're uh, you know they're easy pickings at that point. And I think they do key on that those those clay banks for the crankbaits about that size. Crayfish color. This one's black with red. Um, I use a lot of greens. Some people like the brown and orange. Um, you know you don't always have to to match the the color of the crayfish. Um, in that case it's it's a lot more about where you're you're placing it so for that time of year clay banks